everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. Today I've got a very exciting flip through to do for you. This is one of three videos that will be going up um, all roughly at the same time and it is of course Clara Markova's new book, Fairy Touch of Magic. So this year, as many of you probably know, she's come out with Fairy Touch of Magic, which is her book, which goes with all of her others, which I will show you in a minute. And also her new colouring postcards, which are obviously completely different to the books. They are something extra, an extra colouring surprise that was this year, uh, which I absolutely love. And I have done a flip, well, I guess it's not a flip through, is it? Like showing all of the postcards in a video. So there's a video of me doing a first look and unboxing everything and then a look at each of these. And in this video, we're going to be doing a flip through of Fairy Touch and Magic. So let me just show you the other... Um, books of Clara's. You've probably seen many of them, if not all of them, before. So we have um, Magical Delights, which was her first book. I believe this was um, either 2015 or 2016. Then we had Tenderful Enchantments, which was 2017, and they are both Chuck, um, Czech versions so uh, of, the, of the books. Um, I believe up until Fairy Touch and Magic, both um, English and Czech versions of the books have been available but for Fairy Touch of Magic it's just the um, English one available so then I do have the English versions of Fairy Miracles and Fairy Celebrations so Fairy Miracles is 2018, Fairy Celebrations last year 2019 and now Fairy Touch of Magic so you can see that from the colours they are all going to go really really well together on the shelf they're all hardback they're extremely good quality and i can't wait to show you a flip through of it so i haven't really looked through it that much because i still want this to be kind of one of the first times that i'm really looking at all the details and things because i feel like especially with clara's books you don't really see all of the details until you properly look at the page so um yeah i'm just gonna look through it with you so it's a gorgeous hardcover with um the gold foiling on the spine and the cover on the front and the back so I have already read all of the messages and things that come in this book in the unboxing so if you would like to have um, a look at those then feel free to do so so it's a really nice hardback cover you get a bookmark with um, any purchase that you make for this book so you can see all of her previous books and fairy touch of magic here and I have started to colour the other bookmark which is a cat with a cauldron which goes with it and it's actually in my um colouring like folder at the moment with my pdfs but um I am colouring that one to kind of go with it so that was a freebie on her website which I will link down below so this is all um a nice black paper inside cover and then we come to the first page so this is the title page and it's one of my favorites definitely there's so much detail but at the same time it's just really really lovely and i just oh, her style is amazing i love all of her books so much and she even signed it which i was gobsmacked about i could not believe it so yeah let's just get into this so um she did very kindly send this to me for review so um i'm very very grateful for her um to her sorry so yeah um, I'm obviously going to just tell you my thoughts and show you all of the pictures. So we have the copyright information here. There's a bit of information about Clara. It's printed in Czech Republic. Um, she does do self-publishing. So um, that's kind of why she's able to make these books her own. And really, um, I think they just feel so luxurious as well. So I just love the quality of these books. They're amazing. So you can see her previous books. And this has 112 pages the same as um, the three newer ones. So Fairy uh, Magical Delights has um, slightly less, but her other ones now have 112 pages. So this is the nameplate page. So you can see that there is that uh, like magical element to all of the pages. I absolutely love this one. It's probably one of the more detailed um, front pages, which personally I really like because it's like a whole illustration in itself. And it's just absolutely stunning. So one thing that Clara has done, she's kind of added characters and like faces to um, some vegetables and things, which obviously you wouldn't usually see, which 
just shows that kind of fantastical um that mystical element to this book so obviously it does have a lot of magical elements in it um a lot of really really cute fairies and elves and things because obviously it is very touch of magic so on the reverse side of all of the pages there is a space here to maybe write um when you coloured it um what you used uh, maybe a, like a story or a bit about the page i always forget to colour these pages and it's going to be my um, plan, I think, to make sure that I do colour them along with the page. The only dilemma I have is that some of them on the back, like you would colour this and this is the reverse page. But I want the colours here to match with this page, even if it's not necessarily the back that should go with it. So I, I'm a, in a bit of a dilemma about that. I'm not really sure how I'm, um, what I'm going to do. But yeah this is kind of how it's laid out you do get different backing images so you can see the next one isn't the same so i think that's really really nice it's not um you know you're not coloring the same thing all the time they do repeat a bit but not that much so we come to the first proper illustration with some gorgeous daffodils and i'm thinking of doing these pink tipped as well and this box of macarons which looks just like they've come from a french patisserie i absolutely love it and this was a page that she actually um that clara showed back in march so when we first knew that um a new book was coming she was working on this one so you can see we've got an open macaron here and i believe um sophie uh is uh clara's grandchild so um i think that's probably a detail in there for her so we've got what looks like to be a cocoon hill on the other side. You can see it is different. And this one we've got a close-up face, which is something that we haven't really seen from Clara before. I think that's really, really great because you can really get in there and practice skin. It's something that I definitely need to work on. And again, hair um, and some gorgeous um, bees here and flowers. It's just so sweet. I really, really like this one. There's not too much going on, but at the same time, there's still little details and stuff like the bow here, the hearts, the dew drops. So this one, we have the, the same backing and this next one is really sweet. I've never coloured bubbles before, so it's definitely something that I'm going to need to um, find some reference photos for. But we've got a nice big flower here and the really cute fairies. Um, this looks like, I don't know, it could be a, like a drinking fountain or something. But it, lo it looks almost like there's, maybe this is the bubbles. Yeah, I think that's the bubble mixture actually um, that the fairy is um, blowing to create the bubbles. So this next one, we have a really cute fairy holding a sweet here with some mice. So this mouse either is asleep or maybe he's had a few too many sweets um but yeah there's loads of gorgeous flowers here you could do them forget me nots um cherry blossom anything like that really it's really nice because um clara does have that very distinctive style but also you don't have to make them realistic you can kind of do whatever you want which i think is great so we have some smaller fairies here in a house um that's speaking to each other and we've got a really nice backdrop scene as well i really really like this one again there's kind of quite a lot going on but it doesn't feel too detailed either because you've kind of got the foreground bit and then some flowers in the background so this dragon appears in at least three of her books now so i think fairy miracles fairy celebrations and now fairy touch of magic and there were about three pictures, I think, in the previous books. So it's really nice that um, he keeps appearing. I haven't coloured um, him yet, but I do know what colours I would want to do. So I really like these flowers as well. You can tell all the detail that's gone into doing those. I really, really like that. Um, and again, just some really gorgeous flowers and a really, really cute scene. So we come to double spread here so that's the great thing it is single-sided still so if you wanted to use markers or watercolor or whatever um you know just in case they bled through even though it's a double spread you do have the that reverse side so this one as you can see we've got some faces on the um the vegetables we want more flowers i'd probably do these hydrangeas and it looks like they're gardening so this is a really cute scene and i believe there's four double spreads in here and one kind of each set um each one serves as kind of its own season so 
it does go through the seasons of this book it starts with spring summer autumn and then winter this one i really like we've got a gorgeous rabbit with wings here and you can kind of see that the wings are see-through because um there is the backing of the leaf here so uh, that's going to be really fun to do and we've got some smaller houses here so i reckon this bunny is um either a normal size with just tiny tiny houses or it's a big bunny and it looks almost like it could be an eastery page maybe it's the easter bunny and we've got what look like some bluebells that was really sweet they're just all so gorgeous so here oh so we i think we, there's a bottle here which is great because i absolutely love doing that sort of thing with some gorgeous roses and i don't color them nearly enough and i love them actually because my middle name's rose so it's going to be really fun to colour them. I tend to do lighter ones, so uh, more of a pinky peach colour, but maybe I'll try some darker ones as well. And some gorgeous vines of flowers. This one was one that I did see uh, shortly before Clara released her book. Um, so this looks like it's an up-close butterfly carrying some... Um, well, I think this is a cat and a fairy or witch in what look like to be... what. Well, I think they're pomegranates. I've coloured them like pomegranates before, but I could be wrong. They could also be those berries, I believe. That, um, are either red or orange, and they have a kind of leafy um, bit. But I'm not really sure. You can really um, interpret it however you want. So again, quite an up-close one. Not too much going on, so that would, wouldn't take you that long, I don't think. So now we come to more of the watery scenes. As you can see, the backdrop has changed here. So what Clara tends to do is in this kind of spring summer section, she puts all of the um, water scenes together. So this one's really, really sweet. You can see she's um, paddling in the water. This one, we've got some really, really cute sea life. I have only coloured one of them in her other books so I do need to colour more because I absolutely love doing it um, there's lots of scope for effect I think in doing different mermaids I might even do um, obviously Ariel is a very popular colour palette to do for a mermaid but obviously she had loads of um, sisters as well when I used to watch it so I might do some colour schemes based around them too so we've got a really up close fish here with gorgeous eyes as well that's amazing and I really like this one there's a lot of cute characters uh, this really cute octopus down here this um now I don't know if that's a sea snail or something else and the jellyfish in the backdrop which as you can see the um the line art kind of seems a bit more faded which is really good to kind of give the impression that they're see-through so I'll probably follow that again really cute characters for this one we've got more mermaids the mermaids brushing um her friend or sister's hair um some dolphins as well which is something new and more coral and bits really really like that one this one is more kind of similar to the page that I have coloured. So we've got the kind of underwater house with the shell on the top, which I have re recently coloured, and a see-through bottle, which is going to be great because I can just slap my um, clear jelly wall glaze all over that. And some coins here with the octopus and this really, really cute sea turtle, um, which I love. Again, as I said, there's loads of cute characters on that page. We've got some more seahorses here, which... Um, I've been tempted by a berry and again you can do so, so many good water effects with this because you can see that Clara's put a line here to suggest that the boat is still there but you can kind of mask it with paint you could use acrylic or anything like that that would work really well this one is so cool it's a carousel um which is I don't know turning because of the uh, the mushroom. We, there has been a carousel page in Fairy Miracles, but this is very very different. There are more characters. It is more of an obscure type carousel because it's actually a mushroom, whereas the other one I think was an actual carousel. Um, and we've got some cherries here and a house in a fruit, which I think is amazing. And I love this cat with goggles and um, I believe he appears quite a few times and he might even be the same one on the front cover or similar, similar to, sorry, not the front cover, the um, nameplate page. This one looks to be a candy stall uh, or an ice cream stall. Um, 
and I believe I've already seen this coloured by Colouring Martina. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I love these lollipops. We used to have them in France. My mum used to get them before we went um, anywhere. So when we went to Disneyland when we were younger, they're so amazing. I love them so much. And they're, uh, we used to get them all the time when we were in France as well. So they have a coloured outside uh, with the pattern or the like the fruit inside it. So maybe like a strawberry or something like that. And then the rest of the backdrop was white and they were so delicious. And there's actually a shop called Tiger, which um, sells similar, similar type um, sweets. But they're a lot smaller. They're not, um, they're not lollies. But um, that's something from my childhood that I just always remember. So this one is jam packed with loads of treats. And this looks like, um, God, there's so much going on here is so we've got some potion bottles it looks like there's um juices or something being made or potions um i really like this it's like a wheel that the the bee is walking on a big tree here just packed with all of the sweets there is loads going on that page i can't wait to do that one this one's really sweet kind of gives me moulin rouge vibes i don't really know why because it's got nothing to do with a moon obviously and but I don't know it just it just does I think the, the whole vibe of it but really really like this one again it's in kind of giving that sense of a night scene with all of the stars in the background this one kind of gives me the impression of a wedding dress and you know the fact that the the elf and the mouse is you know finishing off so much on it it's so gorgeous we've got some mushrooms down at the forefront here and some more berries this one was another one which i saw on uh Clara's facebook so this is a really big cat which is so so cute with a hat on and this um mouse and elf is on its back like a saddle which is so sweet and there's some strawberries as well we haven't really had a well we have had some up close cats but we kind of got the whole body uh here which is really sweet this one it looks like they're getting married a uh, huge bow here which is gorgeous and again lots of other berries and a lantern down here so this one is a bird um with lots going on again uh, on a branch with some fairy friends um lots of fruits and things i really like the amount of detail that are on Clara's pages you can really get sucked into them and although some take me longer I really don't mind that I absolutely love them generally I try to colour at least one page a month from her books this one's one of my favourites I love the fact that it's honeycomb um and in each section is a particular thing so you could really take your time with this one and just that every evening colour one section um and then and then you're done with it and i really really like all of the different characters we've got a snail up here so adorable so we've got an elf here which looks to be kind of telling a story i guess um we've got some candles in the background with some mice and mushrooms i'll definitely be doing those see through so we've got a big well, bigger house on this page and I really like having these big houses because they're so much good for blending and things like that. Uh, we've got some like fungus growing on it um, and a bench here at the front with a big wooden door. So we've got a fairy here in an armchair that's knitting with loads of cocoons above it. Really, really like that one so many pages in this book i love this deer um again it's one that i had seen before and i love the like how large it is because there is just that scope for blending and i do just think there's really really gorgeous animals we've got a cute snail again up here i have done a full length color along on my channel and i did show how i color snails on that page so if you'd like to check that out please feel free so it looks like they're making a potion or jam or something here um, you see the uh, fairy is uh, licking straight from the massive pot and there are some beds up here uh, with the wooden floor this one we've got a some donuts and some apples 
um, with a really cute hedgehog. And actually, this is a massive apple house, I think, which is amazing. So, you know, imagine how small they are if the um, apple is probably a normal size. This one I really like. It's uh, kind of almost a bird's eye view of the house, I guess. And it looks, I, I guess it's not really a Halloween house because it, it's not spooky, but it definitely looks like a really, really lovely house um, to stay in. Come to another double page spread. This is the Halloween one, which I absolutely love. It's so detailed and amazing. And this is actually one of the pictures that has the flap for the um, coffin, which is really clever. And we've even got Clara written down here as well on the statue. Oh, I just love it. I really, really love this one. It's so detailed. I know I'm not going to get around to it this month before Halloween, but definitely will be one that I colour. So this one we've got, it looks like to be a witch cooking up some potions. Um, loads of different devices and things there. And this is the bat knitting from the um, back cover. So sweet. I love all of the bats in um, Clara's books. I have coloured quite a few already. So this one, I'm not sure. I think they might be dragons. Um, I don't think we've really seen them before, but they're so cute. We've got some pretzels here. One's even been eaten slightly. Um, and this could be porridge or jam. But again, I, I really don't know. You can do so much with, with it. This is the front cover and the only thing we're missing, uh, obviously because the, the title is there, is the really adorable cat with the goggles. So as I said, he appears quite a few times and what I'm planning with this is to try and stick mostly to the colour palette from the front page. I just think that will um, be a really nice touch just to, you know, keep that cohesive. This one, again, we've got a bigger cat and I love the fact that he is strumming a pear, which is also a guitar. We've got some more pears in the background and some mushroom houses. This one, again, a bigger house. We've got some of the Halloween friends having some tea and cakes, which is really sweet. Actually, I think it even might be a cafe or something like that because we have got a sign up here. I've coloured quite a few of the, the signs and things. I really, really enjoy, well, colouring all of Clara's pages. So this one looks to be one of the first Christmas scenes and this would be a really nice one to do um, kind of as a wintry scene rather than a Christmas one. You wouldn't have to make it directly a Christmas one if you didn't want to. I guess something that makes it more like that is if it had Father Christmas or a, you know, a Christmas tree. But it does look very Christmassy because of the sleigh though. So um, it's quite detailed but no I really really like that one I'm probably going to do my powdered sugar effect for the I think they're donuts donuts with no maybe they've got a filling inside or they might be profiteroles so this one I think is um I don't know if it's a special Christmassy drink or something like that but it looks like it's being warmed up underneath the sorry on top of the flame a really really detailed gorgeous wreath there and some Christmas treats so we definitely have moved into the wintry Christmas section here so we have a witch and her friends flying over some gingerbread houses and more sweets and treats here I love this one it's a Christmas tree type house and we've got loads of presents by it, um, a wreath on the door, a bird friend, loads of cute ornaments as well on the tree. This one's really cosy. It is the inside of a house and we have a really cosy armchair here with the gingerbread reading, which could be the Fairy Touch of Magic book. A Christmas tree down here and the fire. Loads of scope there for... Um, Oh my gosh, light sources. We've got two fairies. Have I just missed one there? Oh no. Um, which are outside with a sleigh and a cake here. There's loads of sweet trees. I absolutely love these pages. But if you like colouring food, then this section is definitely the bit for you. I mean, all of the markers, there is a lot of food within the book, but especially these pages. And again, another gorgeous mushroom with snow on it. 
another cozy one so we've got a squirrel that's conked out um here um probably asleep i'd say in fact they're both asleep and um, we've got presents laid out everywhere some more gingerbread men oh sorry i keep knocking the camera another fire and the final double spread we have is this one which could possibly be christmas day we have the box here which has the the flap oh there's just so much going on i love it there is holly and the fairy friends and the mice it's absolutely stunning we have a shooting star here with a fairy with a gorgeous dress and again, could possibly be a night scene because of the stars. We've got the snowman, more cakes and a mouse here. That one's really sweet. This is more of a kind of wintry one, I would say. You know, it doesn't have to directly be a Christmas picture. And here is the last page. So what Clara tends to do with um, her books is the last page is kind of... Um, kind of aim towards the colouring community I guess um, because there's lots of arty things going on here so it's still got that wintry feel to it but it's more kind of um, you know painting and you know aimed at us colourists which I think is a really sweet idea so I do really really like this page so they are all of the pages and we've got um, a bit of colouring here as well I've read this all out in the unboxing video and then here we have the flaps for the um, pages that I mentioned to you so there are little drawings here to show you where to put them and yeah you get a pattern on the back of that and that is the end of the book so what do you guys think of it I absolutely love this book it could possibly be my favorite of hers I mean I love all of them so it's really really hard for me to pick there are so many pages that I love in each of the books so Oh, I just love it so much. I can't wait to get started in it. I'm really, really hoping that I can maybe start a page before the end of October so I can show you something in my computer pages. But um, I've got a couple of other pages that I do need to finish before I can get started. So uh, thank you so much again to Clara for sending me um, this to review. And thank you so much to all of you for watching. All my links will be down below as usual. I will link where you can purchase the book on Etsy along with Clara's website. And yeah, that's all from me. I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.